safety first. <laughs> Hello, sir. So what we're gonna be doing today is just a gross screening of um, your lower extremity muscles. So I'm just gonna ask you to move through a few ranges of motions and I'm gonna be applying your resistance, okay? Okay. All right, so first thing I want you to do is put your hands back and just move your legs up to your chest as high as you can. Very good, and then bring this one up just a little bit. All right, and don't let me move you. All right, next one. Find something. Let me move you. All right, now don't let me move you up. All right, good. Now bring your legs together, and don't let me move you out. All right, and opposite leg bring up, and move you in. Very good. Bring this chair. All right, next one, bring this heel all the way up. And don't let me move you. And then knock out the other way. All right, next one. Bend your legs back, and then all the way out, this way again, and back again. You can bring it to your chest, there you go. Don't let me move you. All right, bring them out again. Bend it just a little bit. All right, don't let me move you. All right, now point your nose down. Don't let me move you. Bring this to the ceiling. Same thing. All right, bring the heel in. And then out the other way. All right, other one. Very good, sir. And now. All right, now curl your toes up for me. Don't let me extend them out. Very good. And then spread them apart as far as you can and don't let me push them down. All right, and now spread them out as far and don't let me push them together. Very good, sir. Hi, sir. So what we're gonna be doing today is measuring the range of motion of your active hip flexion. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just feel for the fulcrum, which is the greater trope. Which is right here. Yep, all right. So we will align that here. The proximal arm will be midline of the trunk. And the distal arm will be lined up right with the lateral epicondyle, which is right there. The starting measurement okay. was zero. So what I want you to do is bend your knee all the way to your chest as much as you can. Try and keep your foot down. All right, let's move this. Realign. All right, 104. All we're beginning, gonna be doing is measuring your hip um, internal rotation. So I place a towel under your leg here. Wow. So, and what we're gonna be doing is passively. So first I'm going to just palpate for placing the fulcrum at the distal end of the patella and the proximal arm is perpendicular to the floor and the distal arm will be in between the two. Here. The starting measurement was zero. All right. So, so now what I'm going to do is move you to the range of motion. You didn't know he didn't read it? No. Right there. I did that too. Making sure your hip is down. I can look at the video and All right. Like and replace the gony. Hello, foot. Hello. So now what we're going to be doing is measuring your range of motion um, actively um, for your tarsal eversion. So what I'm going to do is just align 
this in between your two malleoli for the fulcrum, and then I'm going to align the proximal arm all the way up to the tibial tuberosity, midway between the lower leg, and then the distal arm will be right along the line of the second um, metatarsal. All right, so what I'm going to have you do, sir, now that we're lined up. Starting was also zero. So now that we're lined up, I'm going to have you evert your foot, so point your toes outward as much as you can. Seven. So now what we're going to be doing is measuring your passive range of motion of your subtalar um, inversion. So I'm just going to place the fulcrum right here between the two malleoli. The proximal arm is going to be going up the midline of your leg and the distal arm here is just going to be in between the calcaneus. All right, so I'm just going to stabilize. And Starting at zero. You. All right, nice and slow. All right, it's about 15. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is testing your ankle inversion. So I'm going to ask you to do just maybe heel in like that and out. Right okay. in. Okay. And I'm just going to be applying a uh, summer distance. Okay, don't let me move you. For this manual muscle test, the patient would be considered a five. So strong. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're going to be doing is a manual muscle test. So we're going to be testing your hip extension on your left. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to stabilize right here and I'm going to ask you to bring your leg up as high as you can. All right, that's okay. Let's move you. And here I'm just going to support your leg at your hip and right here. And we're going to make sure you can move through the full range of motion. The patient here would be considered a two since he can move through the full range of motion in a gravitally eliminated position, but he cannot hold the resistance. Hi, sir. I'm back. Did you miss me? Okay. Well, the next thing we're going to be doing is another manual muscle test. We're just going to be testing your knee flexion. All right. So just, I mean, is he already prone? That's great. So what I want you to do is just bend this leg up as much as you can. Great, full range of motion. The patient would be considered a three since they couldn't hold the test position against gravity, but did gradually Very release good. when resistance was placed. So what we're going to be doing today is um, a few muscle length tests. So the first one we're going to do is um, the SLR test, and it's measuring the, the length of your hamstrings. Okay, so I'm just going to be lifting up your leg. I'm just going to move this table down a little bit. If you can. I'm gonna move the table because I'm short. Look at the line. <laughs> okay, so what I want you to do is just keep this leg straight, and I'm gonna be lifting this one up and also keep it straight, okay? So, what we're looking for is we want you to be past um, anywhere from 68 to 80 degrees, and that's gonna indicate a normal negative test, okay? Stretch you all the way up. Since the patient did pass the 68 to 80 degrees of this test, this test is negative. Sir, I'm back. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is just another muscle length test. It's called the Eli test. It's going to be testing the length of your rectus femoris. So all I'm going to be doing is bending your right leg here. And if it passes um, 90 or at 90, then it's a negative test, which means it's good. All right, so... Let's go ahead and start. I'm just going to stabilize your hip. We're going to make sure your hip does not flex. That's what we're looking out for. And there we go. No flexion, so you are This good. test would also be considered negative. Hey, <laughs> I'm Matthew, and I approve this method.